exactly like we never left BDA. This chapter, it was kind of confusing because of how all over the place it was. In this chapter, I think we can ask more questions and we really didn't get that many answers. We find out that Sanji is alive. Okay, Sanji is confirmed alive and we see Brooke in this chapter. It basically says that you can't mention Wano, okay? And listen, seeing Brooke was cool, but I was more interested in Sanji. Like, where the hell is Sanji? Now, they go into dialogue about Sanji. Like, Nami starts telling the story, and they start from the middle of the story without really starting from the beginning. So it was kind of confusing there, and even Robin was like, okay, just start from the beginning. She starts from the beginning, and we find out that the way they were able to escape Big Mom, finally, this happened months ago, real time. In, you know, previous chapter, 795, Suicide, when we found out that they were actually on Zoe, right? So this happened a while ago, and we find out that this was 10 days ago. This is when this happened. They also mentioned Momo, and the fact that Momo is locked up in his room because he doesn't do well with Minx. I'm not sure if because he's constantly changing, or he just doesn't interact well. You find out later on that Jack attacked Zoe because he was looking for Raizo, a warrior of Wano. So, what I'm thinking happened is Raizo was probably hiding out somewhere on Zoe and he stood by and watched Jack demolish their country looking for him. So really right now they're like, yo, we wouldn't want to hear anything about Wano because the last time we heard something about Wano, half the country was demolished. Honestly, I'm reading the chapter and only thing that was on my mind is where the hell is Sanji? Tell me about Sanji. I need more Sanji. Right now, Oda has us in limbo because we do find out that Sanji left a letter of some sort and Luffy and Zoro is kind of downplaying it so it can't be that serious, but Nami is really worried, okay? Zoro says, well, he'll figure something out and Luffy's like, well, it's not like he got captured. So those are two hints that it's not that serious. He did not get captured and he left you know, of his own will. They said that the Straw Hats saved them. So how did Sanji save them? Did Sanji defeat some uh, some people that were at, that came after Jack? Did Jack leave some people there to kind of watch over the island? And then, because I, Sanji did not fight Jack. I, honestly, after this chapter, I'm just more confused. Like, what the hell is going on? They do go into what Jack apparently wanted, as I mentioned before, which is Raizo, and they show a mammoth, okay? And the mammoth's eyes, it looks different. It's not like a regular animal. So you can say fairly certain that Jack is a mammoth zone because when we see Jack in the other panels in past chapters, you see the outline of like his, his coat or his jacket or his fur. It's the same as that mammoth. So you can make that assumption that Jack is a mammoth zone. Now, we saw the claws in those panels. We also see the footprints and it would make sense because, you know, that's what we thought from the beginning it was like ah, it can't be that obvious right but that that's that's what it was so right now i'm not sure if we're going to want to right away i'm not sure if we're going to get some some more backstory on what's going on with sanji because they kind of left a lot out with the whole sanji situation and that's really what i'm worried about right now so the questions we got from this chapter where's sanji what is jack who is raizo why was raizo on zo why did he leave wano kuni and why did Sanji leave a letter and he's not captured? We even got some Law and Beppo meet up. Like Beppo just fully hugged Law. And we did get some confirmation, bro, that Beppo says, I believe it was Beppo, that said that I can't believe you were able to defeat Do Flamingo. And Law straight up said, that was Mugiwara, yeah. And you know that, you know what I'm saying? We had people saying that Law. Basically, Law was the reason Doflamingo was beaten. And I'm not saying Law didn't have a play a part, but Luffy put him in the ground. Put him in a coffin. It was a good chapter, though. It was a good chapter. Just left so many questions, and it was kind of bouncing around that it could really confuse you. And I enjoyed it, though. I mean, they did have some stuff about the Mink Men. They were playing around with Zoro, but I didn't care about any of that extracurricular activity. I just wanted to get to the meat and bones, okay? I want to get the meat of it, all right? Because... We're not sure what the heck is going on, and I need answers. All right, I need answers, bro. But good chapter, nonetheless. I, I'm not sure if we're about to go to Wano. I'm not sure if we're going to stay on Zoe a, li a bit longer. But we know all there is to know about Zoe. Um, they they did mention some interesting things, though. They said there are two kings, a uh, king of the day and the king of the night. And I'm like, why are there two kings? It's like the different things come out at night. Is it one of the islands where some weird things just happen at night where you need a different king? So, again, another question. So, this is the chapter of questions, all right? No answers here. A few answers, but mostly questions. But yeah, let me know what you thought about the chapter. 
were you reading the chapter and just thinking about what the hell was going on with Sanji or were you really just interested in the chapter because I wasn't really focused because I was just thinking like I need to know what happened to Sanji. It was really cool seeing how they took out Big Mom's ship though and we did see Capone, he did join Big Mom and he's just using her to elevate himself. Like Capone is a smart dude, he's just using Big Mom and we know that they did mention that the quickest way to get to the top is to use some people that's at the top. So Capone is just being smart right now. Drake is on Kaido's crew and so I wouldn't be surprised if Kid joined the crew as well. It's like you have, to, Luffy is different. Luffy's not going to join with anybody, you know, but Luffy does have Shanks as an affiliate. So we may see some of these supernovas latch on to these Yonkos for the Throne Wars because that's important. So let me know what you thought about the chapter. I thought it was good. I need some more Sanji though, okay? We didn't get enough Sanji and Dress Rosa, and Sanji has not gotten his just due at all. So Give me, give me my Sanji, bro. Let me know what you thought. Like the video if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe if you want to, not because I told you. Have a good day, people.